Hi, yes sisters! And if you didn't guess, yes, that was a James Charles reference. And today we are going to do a Pennywise glam makeup tutorial. This is following James Charles tutorial. And I honestly tried so hard and I could not figure out how to get the little, like, the video into the little screen on the side. I don't know. I'm not getting an update right now. Okay. I just got a pop-up on my computer saying, you're getting an update. Don't tell me. No, I'm not. Okay. So, I'm going to, <laughs> like the pro YouTuber I am, I could not get that on there. So, I'm just going to watch his video and try to copy it. I am still wearing makeup right now because, um, oh, because my eyes, I did them m this morning all by myself and I was really proud of myself because like I did this like pink shade and I really like it and it's from my hard candy pinking of you. And I just felt super, <laughs> super beauty guru-y, so you, I really wanted you to see it. So I used this like white, like in the corners of my, no makeup tutorial or anything. Like I just, I made this up all by myself and I'm very proud of it. So I used this white like on like the inner corners and like the, as the base. And then I used this pink and these don't have names. This is just the pinking of you palette. Um... I use this like light pink right here uh, on like my lid, and then what did I, what did I do after that? I used a very small amount of this like brown in the crease, and I even did eyeliner everything, and it like it actually turned out, and I'm very proud of that. Like I I'm very <laughs> impressed. So I did watch this video like I don't know once or twice. Um, and just to make sure that I had, like, all of the colors that I needed for this, well, I don't. So I'm just going to use what I have, and even if that means putting lip gloss on my nose. Here is a picture of what it is supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, so he's starting with this like mon I don't know montage type deal um, so I will try to do something like that hi yes sisters sorry So this is a glam Pennywise tutorial that James Charles put together himself and I'm really excited to try to accomplish it. Obviously he is uh, James Charles and I am me so obviously I'm gonna slay this look better. I like his intro, that's really cute like that. So here He's using a shade that is too light for him, so that it makes it does make his face look a little bit um, lighter. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that if I had to find a shade of foundation that was too light for my skin, I'd have to like special order it. Because if you know me, I'm usually buying the lightest shade that the drugstore I'm buying at has in my color, like, because I have such fair skin. Um, so I'm just going to use my normal foundation because honestly this was the lightest that it did come in. So this is what I use in like all my videos, my Wet n Wild foundation. Um, so I'm just going to put that on. Wow, he. I wonder how much he actually like spends on his makeup because like dang. Because <laughs> I honestly, I pref I much prefer like drugstore brands because makeup's not like a huge deal to me like sometimes I wear it sometimes I don't sometimes I like to glam it up and other times I try my best I don't know um 
Oh shoot, I forgot to put on chapstick before I did this. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm gonna take this beauty blender that I was supposed to clean yesterday and didn't, but I should've. I know you're supposed to like bounce this off your skin, but um, honestly, I don't have that much time on my hands, so I just kind of like to smear it. I honestly don't see the difference. But he's kind of like contouring his face, and he's using a very light shade. So I'm just gonna assume like, I'm just gonna use my, uh, what is it? My cool matte, matte bronzer? I don't, I still don't know how to say that word. Just this one, right here. Okay, and so I'm just gonna get that, and just kind of do what he's doing. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. Wow, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna like comb them out and he says to do them really like arched up. My eyebrows really don't have that much of an arch in them anyways. Um, but we're gonna try to arch them and make them a little bit darker than usual. Okay. Okay. Next. Oh. Okay. He's telling me to get some, um, let's use this one. Some white eyeshadow. This is what he did. So I'm going to use, I don't know, this is just white. It's in my Pinking of You palette, which is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to use my big brush. And... Just get this, and I'm just gonna put a lot of like white right here because that's how he has it. I feel like his eyebrows are higher up than mine are. Like his are like up here like this, and mine are like down here like this. Okay. So he has this beautiful red palette. I have every, I have stuff, I don't know. Not like that, Thursday, but... So he started with a much brighter red than what I'm starting with. That's okay. So I'm going to take... This is called Queen. It's out of my Ulta Beauty palette. I don't know. Does this even have a name? I don't think so. Okay. And I'm just going to do like what he did. So he went right from like the inner corner and like underneath and I'll go a little bit darker once I like have it outlined at least a little bit and he goes like out to where his eyebrow ends okay honestly lifting up my eyebrows might make it so much worse yeah this is my cut crease guys <laughs> ready oh that's backwards that's my cut crease beautiful I'm in that. Ah! <laughs> Go back! Okay. <laughs> I should have just done like a regular like <laughs> be like tutorial because like I'm not good at this kind of stuff. This one it's called Rengeful Red. Um shoot where is it? I just broke this. Like, this is not gonna close anymore. Like, it's- it's open now. Okay. Oh, it's Vengeful Red, and it's actually a lipstick. Because I don't have that shade of, um, I don't even have anything close to that shade. But this lipstick is pretty close, and I don't even use this, so I don't really, like, care. So I'm gonna take, like, this, just eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna just kind of, like, okay, I'm gonna get it wet first. Okay, and then I'm just gonna like slide it on here, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, and I'm just gonna like, okay, yep, it pretty much looks like I just put lipstick on my face, so that's okay. It actually looks kind of like his, which is surprising, it's just like more of a purpley color. So, and then he says right there, like he blended it out. So then, he grabs this 
beautiful expensive color called like rave or something. Oop, that's too far. Okay. So I'm going to grab my cheap color, Fiery Saffron, which is... So I found it. So Fiery Saffron, there's two of them in here and I'm going to use the darker one. So I'm going to use this brown right here. It's like, a, it's got a reddish tint to it, I guess. The other one in this palette is this like light pink. So I don't know why there's two, but they're under different numbers. And there's no other ones. I don't know, whatever. Okay. Okay, my, my Pennywise glam routine is literally just going to be like brown. <laughs> like that's what this is. Like it's just brown. This is like this beautiful, vibrant red. Okay, let's go. This literally just looks like, like a sewer. Like his is beautiful and red like a sunset. Mine's just like sewer brown. That was gross, I'm sorry. Okay, so he took a color. I'm gonna take Rebel Metal, which I believe is in this. So Rebel Metal is this color, and both of these are Estee Lauder palettes. Um, so it's this color, and I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this little itty bitty brush and just kind of get that in there, and I'm just going to do the underneath, which is a Okay, this is black. Okay. What did I use? Darkness. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay. So darkness is literally just like this black right here. Okay. So, and I'm just going to go on the very bottom. I don't even like know what a cut crease is. A really quick wind, a really quick winged liner. Quick and winged liner do not belong in the same sentence. So I'm gonna do a really quick winged liner. So I'm gonna do it just like he did, and just, I don't even know if I can do this in a viewfinder. Okay, so he really brought it out. The difference between his and mine is that his is not touching the eyeshadow, but like I said, you know what? I'm gonna just make it my own. Okay, and uh, come in. Wow, I have eyeliner completely in my eyeball right now, and it it's uh it's not pleasant. I'm gonna go to my mirror and do this so I don't like stab myself and I'll be right back. These wings so big, they could help me fly. All right, so that is done. Oh, not true, not true. Okay, so next, I'm going to take the Renge, Vengeful Red again, which is my, what is this? This is not right. Vengeful Red, which is once again my lipstick, right? Yeah, this is Vengeful Red. And I'm going to once again wet my brush. These things are going to be need to clean. These brushes are going to need a good cleaning after this because, like, this is a lot. I don't wear reds, like, ever. Like, that's not something I do. I use a lot of, like, nude shades and, like, light shades. Nope, nope, not ready for that yet. Not ready for that. Do not move on. All right, so I'm just gonna do like what he's doing, I guess. Is So I got my video to play again. So there's that black triangle. Here we go. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to re-dip this because it gets very light right there. So I'm just going to kind of just blend that together into the cut crease. Okay. That's fine. So I'm going to take just a little bit more of the red, just a little bit, and yeah, just kind of like, because it's kind of going away right here, um, and then he's definitely like blending that out. Okay. So I'm going to take this kind of poofy thing, brush, and I'm going to mix my Hope is what this like reddish color is and we're gonna mix that with um uh what is this one called i'm just like making this up on the spot now arrow i guess which is like this brownish glittery type color so we're gonna get that and we're just gonna put that underneath here from my eye um but you know what this is a Halloween tutorial so and I know it's not around Halloween like at all I just really wanted to try something a little bit different a little out of my comfort zone this is definitely that <laughs> all right so let's just like he said just deepen this up okay and then, yeah, you just kind of like blend this out down there. This is actually like looking surprisingly good. Like, <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm honestly impressed. Okay. So, once again, we are doing the black. Where the heck? There it is. Okay. So we're going to take this black again and just kind of like line the waterline, but not quite like a uh, eyeliner. What are you doing? Stop yelling at me. I don't know what my computer is like yelling at me for right now, but whatever. Stop! Oh my gosh! Okay, and it's just kind of like down. Okay. I do actually have a white <laughs> pencil <laughs> with black on the end. <laughs> okay. I never use white on my, when I'm doing makeup. Like I never use a white eyeliner pencil. I'm not a huge fan. I'm going to once again go do this in my mirror so I don't like poke my eye. So I don't know what the what the point of that is because like you can't even see it. But um we know it's there question mark. I don't know, whatever. Okay. Oh wow this is crooked. And he did use a white eyeshadow. So we are definitely going to do that just to make it a little bit more glam, I guess. Um, I don't know what brush is not, like, covered in red right now, so I'm going to use this one and just kind of, yeah. So now that this eye is actually done, I'm going to go on to this eye, which I will not go and, like, lead you all through. So here we go.
So I'm using the lipstick again from Ulta Beauty because that's like the only, I don't know, makeup store we have around here. This is Goodyear for Wine. So you really just like, he's really just like going like this. Okay. So if we could make that a little bit more even of a circle. Wow, this feels disgusting on my skin. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to once again use this. Okay. So, so yeah, once again, I still can't, Vengeful Red is what this is called. I can't, I can never remember the name. So, ooh, dang. That's actually looks surprisingly good. I'm impressed. Okay. Wow. It does give it more dimension. I was never an art student, obviously. I never took any art classes once I didn't have to. I mean, I took band, but I don't know if that counts. Like, it's a fine arts credit, I guess, but whatever. Okay. Okay. So... He used his white concealer again, which I don't have. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to of course use like a white eyeshadow, like that makes sense, right? And I need a smaller brush. Um, where is my little brush that's not covered in dark stuff, dark foundation and stuff? And just kind of dot it, and I'm going to pat my nose out just like he does. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. All right. <sighs> so I'm going to make sure to put this lipstick away or it's going to fall apart and be a mess on my floor, and it's going to be great. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay. So once again, I guess I shouldn't put that away. I'm gonna use a good year for wine and now I'm actually gonna put it on my lips so I'm gonna use my uh, obviously my lip liner pencil whatever my <laughs> whatever this is called brush and cuz I don't have that like really thin like stick he's type thing he's using so This actually looked like turned out surprisingly well. I'm very, I'm very impressed. <laughs> okay, so once again, I cannot do this on camera. So I'm going to go off camera to put on my eyelashes because I'm not as talented as that. So yeah, I will be right back. <laughs> well, this definitely, the eyelashes definitely glam up the look. He's also using eyelashes way bigger than mine. So these are just casual, like, everyday type eyelashes. Um, but yeah. And I'm actually going to take a picture of this and send it to my mom. Oh, right, right, right. So I'm going to go ahead and take the makeup of her starlet powder number 13. This is my all-time favorite blinding highlighter, and it's the only one that is, like, bright enough to show up on the this is champagne highlight. Okay, so here is the finished look. 
Um, oh yeah, I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to my mom and uh, Robert and see what they say. Ooh, this is creepy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have a hair in my mouth right now. I feel like I can't even like touch my face. It just looks so weird. Like my mouth looks so huge, honestly. <laughs> like it looks so big and my lips are like non-existent. Okay. So. Okay. So that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more like crazy makeup tutorial type things, uh, subscribe to my channel. And I've been trying to get out new videos, like, as soon as I possibly can. Um, and as often as I can. There's definitely not exact days because then I feel stressed. And so I pretty much just upload videos when I have them ready. When school rolls around, when school rolls around, it's a lot harder. Right now it's spring break. That's why I've had this weird, like, splurge of videos. So I'm definitely trying to keep. up. Um, it's very difficult with just senior year. There's so much going on. So please, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment down below, and check out some of my other videos and uh, see what's up. <laughs> oh, okay, so I will definitely see you in my next video. All right, love you. Uh, that is a wrap. <laughs> Bye.